Ty Pennington got his humble start in television as the designing hunk on Trading Spaces in the early 2000s. For a while, it was impossible not to see Pennington on television or to hear his interior decorating advice. But after two hit TV shows and several best-selling books, the 52-year-old handyman virtually disappeared from the spotlight. Is he truly gone? Or are you just watching the wrong shows? Here's a look at the real reason you may not hear from Ty Pennington anymore. Extreme Makeover Home Edition Ended After an astounding 202 episodes, Extreme Makeover Home Edition was officially canceled by ABC in 2012. The show, which grew to tremendous fame, tore down and rebuilt economical and sustainable homes for deserving families each week. Pennington told Parade that the show changed the way he views life. Quote, I think what Extreme taught me is that, as an artist, what you create with your hands has a lasting difference and actually makes someone's life better. It's something that I'll always be proud of." End quote. But while he misses the show, Pennington has embraced the chance to reconnect with the rest of his life. Quote, my friend recently said, Oh my god, dude, you look rested. Now I actually have a chance to try to get some of the things in my life in order. When you're on that show, you're literally traveling every three days. Everything is on hold until you can get back to it. So I'm trying to reconnect with my own family." End quote. Battle with ADHD Pennington is perhaps one of the most animated and active people on television. But it wasn't until recently that he revealed his Energizer Bunny personality is caused by attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which he regulates through medication. According to an interview with The Huffington Post, his ADHD has impacted every aspect of his life, including his job. Quote, it affects the way you communicate. Not only that, but if you can't pay attention to someone who's trying to tell you something and then you forget that they even said it, they think that you may not even care. Imagine what that's like with not only your relationships at home, but at work." End quote. Busy with his hobbies Another reason for Pennington's disappearance from the public view are his cool pastimes. In an interview with USA Today, he revealed his love of photography, which is also evident in his impressive online photo gallery. Quote, People ask me what my favorite tool is, and I'm like, it's not a hammer or a drill, it's a camera. I shoot everything, I document everything. We've all become human selfie machines." End quote. And when he's not taking pictures, he's making music with his vast collection of classic instruments, which he prefers to digital. Quote, Honestly, the way music has become, I think there's things about the old world you can use in the new world. It's just about making sure you're not sticking with one or the other. We complicate everything by overthinking and overworking, and sometimes digitally, that's true as well." End quote. The revolution was no longer televised. In 2012, Pennington joined the ABC talk show The Revolution, which aimed to totally transform a person's life through style, health, physical fitness, mental health, and environment. Pennington, who helped in the interior decorating area, was joined by fellow co-hosts Harley Pasternak, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, Dr. Tiffany Davis, and style guru Tim Gunn. Our team here is ecstatic about the opportunity we've been given to help you transform your health, your style, your body, your mind, and your environment starting today. Unfortunately, this cast of popular TV personalities got killed in the ratings, and the series was canceled after just six months. Gunn told USA Today that, unlike Pennington, he was thrilled to see the show end. Quote, To be perfectly honest, it was a matter of too many cooks in the kitchen, too many ABC executives with too many different points of view. When they announced we were canceled, I was the only of the five hosts who was doing the happy dance around the studio." End quote. On the menu, off the air In 2014, Pennington joined Emerald Lagasse to launch On the Menu, which was supposedly a cooking competition that offered home cooks from around the nation the chance to design culinary delights for chain restaurants. So, it was basically less of a competition and more of a giant restaurant commercial disguised as a cooking show. Have you ever dreamt about working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, Pennington has. Welcome to Outback Steakhouse! <laughs> working with Outback Steakhouse, sort of a dream. Do you have any deep, meaningful memories about the California Pizza Kitchen? You better believe that Ty Pennington does. What's really cool about California Pizza Kitchen is, like, I can remember when they first sort of came on the, the scene and they did pizza differently. If Pennington seems like a weird choice for a cooking show, well, viewers apparently agreed. Despite his clear enthusiasm for food, the show was canceled after just 10 episodes. Then again, maybe if he had tried feeding the contestants from his mouth, and if the contestants had also been squirrels, he might have gotten better ratings. 
Pennington's Patio Furniture. In 2013, Pennington brought his first-class designing skills to Sears. He teamed up with a big box store to launch his very own collection of outdoor patio furniture. It was the first time Extreme Makeover Home Edition fans could get their hands on a piece of style created exclusively by Pennington. And he even got to do a backyard makeover as well for one lucky family. My work here is done, my friends. So enjoy this Ty Pennington style collection, your new Kenmore grill, the Craftsman lawnmower, the shed, the accessories. Community Outreach That Sears connection is about more than deck chairs, though. Pennington also teamed up with Sears to launch the Building Community Together initiative, which renovates local landmarks to better serve communities. At the start of the project, Pennington lent his handyman skills to renovate a 100-year-old church and three homes in Tampa, Florida. Pennington told DoItYourself.com, quote, People are trying to bring jobs back to the community. It's not just happening here in Tampa. We're going to hit Chicago, Sacramento, Philadelphia, and we have the entire year to do other projects in the community. I love doing what I can, giving back to the community." End quote. Food Network Gig In 2015, Pennington got to combine both of his previous TV jobs when he and Amanda Freitag became co-hosts of the Food Network's American Diner Revival. Together, they travel across the nation to renovate diners, with Freitag working on the menu and Pennington handling the design aspects. Pennington views it as his patriotic duty. What is really interesting about the show is diners, you know, they are the ultimate American icon. To date, two seasons of American Diner Revival have aired. So if you've been wondering what happened to Ty Pennington, it turns out you might simply have been looking for him on the wrong channel. And if your cable provider doesn't include the Food Network, well, don't worry. You can always find him at Sears. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.